Peace, what's the deal? It's your man, R. Sun, the voice of reason, MC extraordinaire of Gangsta Grass. What up, what up? This is Dan Joe. I play the banjo. We are chilling uh, right here on our, our good friend Huey. Huey. Huey was uh, christened in, what was that, 2013? 2013. 2013 on a, on a trip to Toronto. Was it Toronto? It was, it was. Toronto. We it did was. Folk Alliance up in Toronto yep. and had the whole joint, the entire conference singing Huey Lewis in the news. Therefore, you know, this old guy got the name and it stuck and he was actually on the news. Recently. Recently, so, you know, he got even cooler. Yep. Uh, Huey has taken us from Brooklyn to, how far did we went to San Diego, right? We hit, we've yeah. hit Seattle, Seattle all the way San down to Diego, San Diego. Round trip in a, in a month. In a month, yeah. We only lost one bearing. Yeah. <laughs> Which was a thing. We only nearly was... ran off the road. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, uh, he's solid. He is solid. Day. Got a couple scrapes, got a couple of dings, makes yeah. a little bit of noise every now and again, but this old boy is, uh, yeah. he has gotten us around the, around the country yes. a couple of times. Yes, indeed. Let's take a look. So, welcome to Huey. We are uh, in the passenger and pilot seat. What up, what up? Danjo does a good portion of the driving. Wrench does most of the driving. Uh, he is the commander in chief, the mastermind, the creator of Gangsta Grass. He does most of the driving. Dan does a significant portion. I do a little bit, uh, not a lot. I should probably do more. I, I admit that. Um, yeah, but we are. Uh, we keep ourselves thoroughly entertained with uh, a stock of CDs here. Yeah, what are we listening to right now? Right what now? do we got? We got yeah, we some. Got yeah, we got, we got some uh, some Zephaniah. Yeah. We got some, oh, so whiskey shivers here. Some uh, some Michaela. Michaela, Michaela Ann. Ann. Rebecca Wodarski. Uh, uh, Plank Stompers. You know what I'm saying? Zephaniah mm. O'Hora. Just all sorts of things in there's here. A, uh, there's uh, a Raskas and a uh, Raskas and did that. Ras Raskas and Apollo Brown joint. Yeah. Our good buddies, the uh, who's that? The uh, Matthias and the Pirates from St. Louis. We got some of their stuff in here. Yeah. And then, souls of mischief, all sorts yeah. of stuff. When we get tired of the CDs, we like to hook up the aux cable. This is pretty cool. So it's a uh, it's an eighth inch, uh, three point five millimeter. If you're getting metric, uh, it's pretty good. It's That's an aux cable, and it plugs in, and it's pretty long. Um, what else is cool is we've got. So this is a it's a four plug USB to uh, to micro USB phone charger. Plugs in right there to the power. Singular. Power. Check this out. Power. No, no. Check this out. Right. This is a. This is a, no joke, 10 foot cable, okay? You need to have that. You gotta have that. That's an essential. We're charging all the way in the back. Um, that's, yeah, that's for real. That's Teddy um, Ruxman. We got, uh, we got some healthy snacks. We like to get down on the healthy snacks um, with Teddy here. We got um, books, Crush Loves, Mo Meta Blues. Yeah, some great books in here. There's another great book. For the reading. Here. Um, this one's dope. This one's actually kind of on the Gangsta Grass reading list if we had such a thing. It's called Segregating Sound. And it's kind of a it's kind of a great historical look at the creation of uh, you know sort of racial categories in music. Like people get surprised that we do what we do, combining bluegrass and hip hop, and they think you know those are separate things. But that's not even that hasn't even always been the case, right? So uh, this is a really fascinating read if you want to learn about the history of American music in like 18 mid 18th 19th century and, and onward. Quote of the year, right here. Oh, get it? Yeah, read that. She sings the devil right out of white folks. And when you get the devil out of white people, they're just as good as colored people. That's deep right there. Listen, listen. Yep. There's just an old black dude in 1889 said that to a reporter. Sings the devil out of white folks. So, yep. let me just put that back in my, uh, my little Captain America backpack here. Captain America backpack. Gotta put that away. Okay. There's also lots of toys here. Yeah. Lots and lots of toys. What do you got? Uh, so, Storm just joined us today. Yes. Um, Teddy Rock's finished chilling. Yep. He actually does still work. So every now and again, we'll play like Wu-Tang tapes out of Teddy Rock's film just because Teddy Rock's been singing Wu-Tang is dope. Yeah. Um, actually, funny story, there's more to this video. Oh, yeah. Wait, there's more people in here, too. Yep. Yeah. What's hey, happening, shit. people? Hey, everybody. Hello. Well, welcome to the back Hello. of the van. Back couple seats here. That uh, the, the nice thing about the, the Chevy Express is that it's got seats that are flat all the way across and not like scooped out individual seats so you can lie down on them and nap real easy. 
and uh, I'm back here. I'm reading uh, This is an Uprising. Uh, for anybody out there who just happens to be thinking about uh, how you can overthrow authoritarian regimes just by coincidence, this is a recommended book. Yep. This fan is definitely party in the front, business in the back. Yeah, yeah, I would say that. Yeah. Well, like the farther back you get, the more it's like zoning out and being alone, lying down and sleeping. And then the closer to the front you sit, the more you're going to be um, in on the conversation and the party in the front. So it's kind of stratified that way, where you know, like, you know, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna pass out, I'm gonna go back there to the to the back. And luckily, we don't need a trailer or anything because we roll pretty light. Um, we're using acoustic instruments and not like a bunch of amps. Uh, we got uh, drum loops playing so we don't have a drum set so we're able to pack everything in the back of the van with a lot of merch and we're at the end of the tour right now so the merch is actually really uh, really low not taking up much room most of that room now is taken up by stuff that we've just encountered and we're like oh I need this there's a a Superman cookie jar back there I am a Superman fan and so if you put Superman on something I'll probably buy it and I don't have a cookie jar so my son likes cookies you get a cookie jar yeah. So we get, a, we get a bunch of things along the way. We accumulate um, a few like pairs of shoes and like um, sweatshirts from venues, uh, CDs from people that we like. But um, So it's a little bit cluttered in here, but not so much you'd really notice. And um, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, room, you know? Yeah. You got yeah. to just, uh, you can just stretch out and relax. Um, it's not too crowded. Uh, it's, it's, it's a big van, so. Yeah. Quite spacious. Yeah. Really comfortable, I'd say. Okay, you ready for this? You ready for this? All right. Oh snap! Oh yeah. So it's empty right now because we. Fortunately enough, uh, we got everything loaded and ready for the show tonight. Um, usually, the biggest suitcase in here is mine because I take up a lot of room and so I have a lot of clothes. Yeah. That's that's uh. I don't have a name for that one yet. Yeah, yeah. I had one named Magilla. That's not, not Magilla. That's not Magilla. No, Magilla was with the with the black one. It was Remember the, the big black one? one? Yeah, the oh. really big black one. This one doesn't have a name yet, but I'm beating that one to hell too. Um, the the problem is I can't wear the same pair of shoes, right? So when you gotta wear 14s, you need multiple pairs of 14s shoved into a bag. It's it's not the easiest thing in the world. Our merchandise diva decided, you know what? We need one of these, so it's just a quick little fold our cart and throw the boxes on there and you know go nuts usually we're packed to about here with merch instruments stuff stuff this back yeah. row usually there's not enough of us that we need to sit anybody on that back row so the back row becomes oh, yeah. the thing of stuff what do we got what do we got everybody say hi hi there hey, this is uh torso we we had a naming contest i don't think we've uh, we've actually named named I think her. Torsa yet. should be her name. Torsa, Torsa. Oh, that's so good. Torsa. I just came up with that just now. That's that's fantastic. There, like so. I said, the the, the 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 rule throughout the tour eventually becomes put it under the seat, and then you know when we get home, as we're unloading stuff and dropping people off, we're like, wait, where's my other pair of shoes? <laughs> It'll be in there. It's it's we'll, under the seat. We'll find it next tour. Yeah. So here's the rule. Here's the logic, right? You want the Tetris. The Tetris is large plastic tub full of merch, cardboard box of shirts, cardboard box of shirts, cardboard box of shirts, another smaller plastic tub, another cardboard box of other things. That goes to about here. On this side, we have suitcase, 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 mic bag, bag of gear. Then, and only then, do we start layering guitar on its side in a hard case and then opposite way, maybe another guitar, dobro, and then banjo with the soft case on top, and then we close this close door, door first. to keep everything balanced and locked in, and then we close that door. And that's how we do it, every single time. Every single time. Check us out, gangstagrass.com. Uh, the new live album will be dropping next year. My partner Dan Whitener has a solo EP out right now called Crossover, with a song on it from the new Spike Lee movie, Black Klansman. Check that out, it's called We Are Gonna Be Okay. Right. Uh, my new album, Boom Bap Therapy, will be out the end of September. You can check that out uh, on our son, The Voice of Reason, at bandcamp.com. Uh, we're doing it big. We're doing lots of good things. Check us out, though. Gangstagrass.com. We're on your Instagrams and your Twitters and your MySpace and all that kind of stuff. We got a GeoCities page, all that shit. We, yeah. we, we up to date. Live yeah, journal. I mean, live journal. We deep. Yeah.
Gangsta Grass Hole. We out.